My name is uh, Josphat Chichende, and my wife here is Rose Chichende. We are pastors at Christian Life Ministry, Burundi, and uh, we want to extend a message of condolence to the family of the late Dr. Miles Monroe, especially his son and daughter, and the church and the nation of Bahamas, and also to the friends and uh, relatives of those who were bereaved. We want to pass our deepest message of condolence. Dr. Miles Monroe was in Burundi and he blessed us. He blessed us so greatly and uh, would like to just share some things and in certain areas that he blessed us in. And so I'd like my wife Rose to share some of those uh, areas that he blessed us because uh, yes, it was a great privilege to see uh, Dr. Miles and to meet his wife. I think what stood out for me most was uh, when we talked about uh, uh, the scripture, Proverbs 23, verse 7, as a man thinketh, so is he. And he referred to an island in the Bahamas that used to be called Hog Island. And when he bought it, when uh, the, the, the proprietor bought it, it was full of rats and cockroaches and nobody would have loved to, to be in that place. In fact, nobody ever thought anything would live there. But the gentleman bought it and the moment he, he, he got um, uh, ownership of it, he crossed the name Hog Island and called it Paradise. And today, that island that used to be called Hog Island is now called Paradise, and it hosts great people, and it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I think that stood out for me, that as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you think something is, that's what it becomes to be. And I think that's what I stand on my Well, I was blessed. There are two things that I picked up from the seminar we had with Dr. Miles Monroe. The first is that a group of lions led by a sheep will always be defeated by a group of sheep led by a lion. And he called us to be courageous as a people living in Burundi in order to transform this nation. The second thing that he encouraged us to aspire for is that he challenged us to look for something to die for, not something to live for. It's so easy to look for something to live for, but if you can't die for that thing, then it's not worth living for. And so we want to thank God for Dr. Miles Monroe, yes. for his legacy, yes. for impacting us, yes. and for impacting the nation of Burundi. Yes. May God bless his family. May we live like he lived to glorify God and to bring a better and a greater transformation to the nations of the world, just like he did. God bless you.